you know, any way you slice it. Little rubber monsters are just the way to go. Oh, hello, internet fans. Welcome to 3B Video. I'm your host, Rotten Roger DeMarco, and today we're going to be ranking the Critters franchise. Our rankings might be different, and you know what? That's just fine. There's plenty of room in the sandbox for all of us. But I digress. Now that that disclaimer is out of the way, let's get on with the ranking. So coming in at number five is Critters 4, Critters in Space. I reviewed this film like a year ago. I like this movie a lot, but again, it's Critters in Space, which is where they come from. But all franchises kind of go there to die. And even though this film has Brad Dourif and Angela Bassett, and it's a decent movie, it just kind of falls as my least favorite Critters film, because uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not doo-doo, space boy. House of a Thousand Corpses reference, deep cut. Sci-fi stuff is fine, but uh, I want the Critters to wreak havoc on Earth. I'm not really interested in the space stuff. So that's where it kind of falls on the wayside for me. This is a very fun movie. It is popcorn as fuck. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a ton of gore. There's some fun stuff. You get Angela Bassett taking a shower, soaping up her butt cheeks and stuff like that. It's not terrible by any means, but uh, I just tend to watch this one a little less than the rest of the films in the franchise. So that's why it had to be number five for me. So moving on to my number four Critters film is Critters Attack. You know, the new one that came out of nowhere and had Dee Wallace as a vengeful Krite hunter, sort of doing this retcon of the franchise, a la Halloween 2018 and all of that stuff. It's not a bad movie. It kind of has that made for sci-fi channel look, which isn't terrible. And it has this Stranger Things casting vibe, a bunch of young kids, you know, thrust into this battle with the Krites on accident. Not terrible. Although I'm not sure where I stand on the female Krite that's like white and is like makes a bunch of cutesy cooing noises. I don't know how I feel about that. Still processing this film. I will say this film is better than Critters the New Binge TV series, which will not be included in this ranking. But it's fun enough, but still something that I haven't quite digested. I haven't quite given it its due, and I need to put a couple more viewings in, but for right now, this is where I stand. It's towards the bottom of the franchise for me. So that's why it had to be number four. Moving on to my number three Critters film, Critters 2. Boom! The ultimate Easter horror film. This is the number one Easter horror film on every website, every YouTuber's list. There's not a lot of Easter horror films, so of course, Critters 2 climbs its way to the top of that list. And with good reason. Critters 2 has the first appearance of the Krite Ball, it has boobs, and it's rated PG-13, that's something. The world has changed since Critters 2, folks. We could have a giant boobied girl running around with her shirt off and a staple in her stomach, and it would get a PG-13 rating. Sign me up, let's go back to the 80s, goddammit. The Krites attack the town during their Easter celebration, so there's a lot of funny, is that an Easter egg or is that a Krite egg? Ha oh, ha, gotcha, you know, a lot of silly stuff like that, gory, Fun, a worthy follow-up to the original for sure. I love this movie, but not nearly as much as some of the other films. So that's why it fell smack dab in the center at number three. So moving on to my number two Critters film is Critters, the original. Oh, again, I feel it. I see you staring into the TV. I see you clicking the thumbs down right now, and that's okay. Uh, let me explain first. Obviously, this is the one that started them all. And it's fantastic. Dee Wallace, Billy Greenbush, Billy Zane. I can go on about how awesome the first Critters movie is. This movie was New Line's baby. You know, they're coming out, making their own fun little rubber creature monster movie. And they knocked it out of the park with this movie. I really, really like this movie. You've got a fun lead character. You've got a killer soundtrack, which I need to point out one line in the song power of the night. I believe he says, the taste of sweat burning in my eye. I don't know what that means, but me and Evil, we get a fucking chuckle out of it. What does that mean? Who knows? Are those the words? Do you know? Let me know. I want to know. But in all accounts, this is nearly a perfect film. You have 
people held up in a farmhouse fighting off all of these little porcupine-esque alien monster dudes that have their own little language and they roll around and talk to each other like the fucking raccoons from the great outdoors. It's a really fun movie and I don't have anything negative to say about it, but I happen to like another film a little bit more from this franchise. So that's why the original Critters is my number two. So moving on to my number one Critters film. There's only one left and you know what one I'm talking about. Critters 3. Yeah, buddy. Featuring young, adorable, awesome Leonardo DiCaprio. That's right, I said it. Leo! You got a bunch of lower class people held up in this shitty apartment building and they accidentally bring Krites into the building. So you have all of these tenants duking it out with Krites. Shitty landlords, terrible people. You got the good, you got the bad, and you got the Krites. This is just a fun, stupid, hour and a half popcorn extravaganza of Krites running around in a low rent apartment building, fucking everybody up. And if that doesn't sound like fun, you might wanna check your pulse. I have always loved Critters 3. As a little kid, this was the one that I was renting first. As an adult, this is the one I pull off the shelf first. I like all of the other movies, but when it comes to, hey man, I wanna kill an hour and a half, I wanna watch little rubber monsters chew people the fuck up and I, maybe I want to see a, an adorable younger Leo DiCaprio being a smart mouth little prick. Is it the best film in the franchise? Technically, absolutely not. It's silly, it's stupid, but God damn it if it isn't super fun. So let me know how you rank the franchise in the comments below. Let me know what film is your favorite. I'm willing to bet that the majority of Critters fans really, really like Critters too. So do we, and there's nothing wrong with liking that one more than the other ones. Hell, there's nothing wrong with liking Critters 4 more than the other ones. If you're a space boy, do do do. Same reference, brought it back. See what I did there? Had some fun, I suppose. I should probably get going, because after all, there's a lot of movies out there, and somebody's gotta watch them. So why not me, right? We've come for the Krites.